What is going on guys? Retax message here. Hope I have a wonderful day. Got a brand new video for you guys. Today I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to play as a tank in Marvel Super War. Now I have some of my old Hulk and Ronin gameplay that you guys will be seeing in this video. So uh there's nothing new with that, but as the gameplay is going on, I'm gonna give you guys my tips and tricks. Of course, it's not going to be like simultaneously, so like if I say a tip, it might not happen in the video, but I just wanted to give you guys some gameplay in the background so you just hear me talk, and of course, give you my thoughts and everything on how to play as a tank. If you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like on it, Subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below on your thoughts, of course, and follow all my social medias, they've been popping up on the screen. And yeah guys, I'm out, have a wonderful day, enjoy the video, peace. Alright guys, so for our first tip here, like I said, uh, what I'm talking about might not correspond with the gameplay here, but I'm just going to give you guys these tips and tricks. So, as a tank... If you're gonna play a tank, you wanna pick the right one, all right? Of course, people might have their favorite tanks they like to play. They might wanna play Hulk or Ronin or Namor, but you wanna pick the right one. One that will have like a good stun or slowing ability so that you collect your ADCs, your marksmen, your mages, all those more powerful heroes to do all the work while you are slowing down and stunning that is the key for the tank to be able to slow down have some good CC and to take a lot of damage so make sure going right into the second tip here that you are taking the damage for your teammates all right you have more HP you're gonna have more armor you have stronger defense or better defense sorry you want to be the one to take the damage all right sacrifice yourself if you need to all right it's better for you to die than your adcs because if they're dead they're not getting gold they're not attacking minions which means they're not getting their items all right so they're not going to be as strong as potentially the enemy heroes all right guys that's just how it is if you need to die you're gonna die if you need to wait 45 seconds just to let your mage your marksman whoever live then Sue will be it. That's what you're going to have to do. So, next one, let your teammates last hit the minions. You don't got to, you know, be super crazy with that. Of course, if you want to get items yourself, uh, go ahead and last hit a couple here and there. If you're, you know, you're by yourself in a lane or whatever, which you really shouldn't be. But if you are, go ahead and last hit. Don't just, like, leave them to die to the tower or other minions or whatever. But if you are with your ADC, let them last hit, let them get the gold, let them get their items quicker, guys, all right? That's that's the big key with a tank as well, another big key, because they're gonna be doing most of the damage. You're not gonna be super strong, so you want them to have all the great items, you know, the more expensive ones. Don't chase after enemy heroes, guys, all right? You might not be strong enough to kill them, going right to the next one here you'll just be wasting time unless you're with you know an ADC or marksman whoever I know I keep saying the same words over and over again but it's true if you're chasing after them and you're not strong enough you're, you're just wasting time you know and not only that if you are by yourself you left your teammates so something could easily happen to them while you're busy running after some spider-man or whoever who has like 5 HP that you might not be able to hit one because he's gonna be faster than you so if you're slow as dirt and you're chasing after some guy in the jungle whatever you left your let's say mid lane you left your guy there your teammate and he might have two enemies on him and you don't even know that because you're not even paying attention to what's going on in mid lane you're focused on chasing after an enemy hero that you're not gonna catch up to and you're not gonna kill so always watch the mini map all right with that being said you know even if you're chasing after someone all right let's say you're really focused on this guy go ahead use your thumb there's no fog here so you can look around and see where enemies are 
see if they're flanking from behind, look for hidden enemies and bushes. So if you're running through the map all crazy and willy nilly, look through the bushes guys, because more than likely, someone might be hiding in a bush. I do it all the time, all right? As an assassin, mostly, I'm waiting like, let's say mid lane or top or bottom, wherever you are, getting ready to flank behind or gank from the sides. That's where you want to be able to find them, because if you find them, they will show up on the mini map and your ADC can come in and help you, marksman, fighter, whoever, they come and help you. All right, so look for hidden enemies. Now, also look for opportunities to attack the enemy, all right? Look for skills that they used, all right? Let's say you see someone with like uh, Spider-Man, for another example, or even Iron Man. Spider-Man's got the web, he's flying around or whatever, you know that he has a cooldown after that. So you know that he won't be able to run away as fast and get away, so that's a perfect opportunity to maybe chase after him and hopefully that your ADC will follow you in that pursuit and maybe you guys can do some serious damage. Iron Man, he has the, the beam, I believe, of light or whatever it was. I haven't used Iron Man really. Maybe once or twice, but maybe he has that beam of light that he just used. Cool down maybe 10 seconds. That's 10 extra seconds that you have to attack him because he doesn't got that ability anymore. Or he has the rockets that shoot out. I believe that's his first ability. That cooldown is maybe five or six seconds. That's more time for you to maybe push him back a little bit. Last but not least, guys, there's plenty more tips, guys, but I didn't want to, you know, bombard you with a whole bunch of nonsense or maybe it helps. I don't know, guys. Be sure, if you're going to a team fight, that your team is actually ready to fight. So, as a tank, you're mostly going to be in the front lines, right? Taking all the damage and whatnot, maybe pushing back enemies because they won't push up as much, maybe. I don't know, of course, it depends on the enemies, if they're feeling it. it. It varies game by game, okay? But if you're going to engage, don't do it by yourself. If you are going to, and you're a few seconds late to the fight, be careful, all right? Because if you are late, and there's, let's say, three enemies there, and all of your teammates are running back, you're more than likely going to die. So that kind of goes hand in hand with the mini map, seeing where everybody is on the map. So let's say you see it's a 3v3 and in top lane, okay? You're maybe in mid lane. You can't really see the health unless you're like, I don't know if you can with the mini map if you bring your thumb over to it, but you don't know what's going on up there, who's attacking who, and you're trying to run through let's say you finally get up in top lane and it's a 3v1 and your teammate is running away so what are you doing now you're late to the fight what's going to happen are you going to be able to take on three enemies maybe their their uh teammates the enemy's teammates are going to show up now and now it's a 4v1 because your other dude is running away to go heal and you got two other guys dead so you want to be on top of your teammates, make sure you know what's going on in the game, make sure you know what's going on around your, uh, in your surroundings. Alright guys, so that's going to basically be it for these tips and tricks. They might not be the greatest, I apologize, you know, it's, I actually haven't played uh, since Wednesday, so I might be a little rusty, so I do apologize. But. If you guys did enjoy these tips and tricks, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment down below on your thoughts. Let me know which ones you like the best, let me know which ones you would change, and of course, give me your own tips and tricks on how you would run a tank, because honestly, I'm not the best at the MOBAs, so I'm just giving my, you know, my thoughts and opinions on how I would personally run a tank. And yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you guys 
did enjoy it. Like I said, drop a like. I'm out, guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace.